How well do you know the Norse trickster and prankster Loki? Do you know his history as a fascinating Norse god? Even if you say yes, there might be some crazy things about him that you just won't believe. So here are 10 incredible things you should know about Loki. Discover what creatures he can transform into, what magical abilities he possesses, and everything about his odd family with these fascinating facts. It's going to be a rocky ride, so buckle up! Now let's get started with this video! Number 10. Nobody is sure if Loki was male or female. Confused? So are we. The gender stereotypes of Norse mythology are not the only thing that Loki breaks. Throughout the stories, his gender changes. Loki is typically portrayed as masculine in myths in popular culture. This, however, is only sometimes the case. Loki mostly fathers his offspring, but he is also his mother for one of them. Therefore, although Loki frequently assumes a male form, he is not limited to one gender. Number 9. Loki once dressed as a bridesmaid for his brother. One day, Thor woke up and discovered that Mjolnir, his mighty hammer, was gone. First, Thor turns to Loki and informs him, and no one knows that the hammer has been taken. The two then travel to the goddess Freya's court, where Thor requests permission to borrow her feather cloak to try to locate Mjolnir. Thor would then put on a bridal ensemble that included jewelry, garments for women that reached his knees, a bridal headpiece, and the Brisingamon necklace. Thor dismisses the proposal, and Loki adds that it will be the only way to recover Mjolnir, and that without it, the Jotnar will be able to invade and take up residence in Asgard. Thor is dressed as a bride by the gods, and Loki says he will accompany Thor as his maid, and they will travel to Jotnheimer together. Number 8. Loki once tied his testicles to a goat. Once, Skadi traveled to the world of gods, Asgard to exact revenge on the seer gods who had killed her father, the enormous Thiazi. She arrived fully equipped for warfare, including a helmet, mail coat, and battle armaments. Skadi's requirements for forgoing retaliation was that the gods make her laugh. So Loki fastened a rope to a nanny goat by wrapping one end around the animal's beard and the other around his testicles. Loki shouted and squealed every time the goat leapt until it finally fell into Scotty's lap. She laughed at that, and this way, the gods were saved due to Loki's balls of steel. Number 7. Loki was not just a father, but also a mother to some of his, or should we say, her children. Loki's capacity to switch between sexes or genders at will is much more strategic than casual because he uses it to have children with whatever ideal partner he sees fit. He has children who appear as normal humans, but his most renowned progeny are monsters, including some of the most well-known in Norse mythology, such as Sleipnir, Jormungand, and Fenrir. Number 6. Loki was shagged by a horse. The gods employed a mason to build a protective wall when Asgard first came into being. They agreed that the mason would construct the wall alone throughout three seasons in exchange for the gods giving him access to the sun, moon, and goddess Freya. The moment the mason inquired if his stallion could help him, everything went wrong. The gods agreed but soon realized it was a trick because the stallion had superhuman power and significantly accelerated the construction. Loki thus devised a strategy to delay the mason's progress. Loki quickly stopped the wall from being completed in time by changing into a mare, inciting the stallion's lust and making off with him. The gods later learned that the mason was a giant who was no friend of theirs at all. Numerous legends claim that Loki had intercourse with the horse and birthed Sleipnir. Number 5. Loki was as smooth as one could be in shape-shifting. In addition to being unpredictable, Temperamental, taunting, and a cunning trickster, Loki has been described as a bizarre, intriguing, frightening creature who is also intelligent and devious. He has mastered a form of sorcery known as shapeshifting, which enables him to transform into any object or living thing he desires. Number 4. Loki is responsible for the death of his father and brothers? By siding with the Frost Giants during the procession of Ragnarok, the cosmic catastrophe that destroyed the cosmos, he brought about the destruction of Asgard in Midgard. Previously, Loki had also played practical jokes on other cherished gods, resulting in their deaths. No Asgardian was spared from Loki's betrayal during the tragic Ragnarok events in Norse mythology, notably not Odin or Thor. His monstrous children, rather than Loki, delivered the last blow against his foster father and sibling. Number 3. 
Loki did receive punishment for his acts. Loki was chained to a rock where the gods of Asgard were killed and used one of his son's intestines to keep him there because he was responsible for Baldur's death, a god most people loved. In addition, a poisonous serpent or snake might be hovering directly above him, raining venom onto the bound god and inflicting pain with each drop. The distinction between this and Prometheus' punishment in Greek mythology is that Loki deserved the punishment. However, Loki's resentment of his foster family only grew due to this Asgardian retaliation. Number 2. Loki's pursuit for a ring led to tragedy. Once there was a ring with supernatural abilities, the ring was taken from the dwarf when the Norse deity Loki became aware of its specialties. And Vari cursed the ring as retaliation, promised to harm and destroy the owner. According to Anvari, the gold ring would be the death of whoever owned it, and the same applied to all the gold. This is precisely what took place as well. As a result, no one who owned the cursed ring experienced much good fortune or happiness, including Loki. And number 1. Loki killed his ally using a mistletoe. Baldr, the youngest brother of Thor in Norse mythology, was the target of a prediction from his mother Frigg, who had precognitive powers. He would be killed. Frigg took on this issue head-on and demanded an oath from every item on Earth to protect her kid. All agreed with this, except for mistletoe, which was disregarded. The god of mischief, Loki, took advantage of this weakness and used mistletoe to take a poison-laced dart that he gave to Baldr's blind brother, Hod, who he misled into killing Baldr. Baldr, at this point, was essentially unbeatable. God is kicks by allowing the other gods to hurl arrows and darts at him, but of course, he had not thought about including mistletoe in his calculations. After Baldr's death, mythology varies, but in many stories, Frigg's tears transformed into the pearlescent berries of mistletoe, which were hung over doors as a memento and sign of respect. Well, after knowing all this, there's just one thing we can be certain of when it comes to Loki. It's complicated. So what are your views on the God of Mischief? Let us know in your answers in the comment box below. Also, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you next time!